Islands. Earthquake damage reports still pouring in since yesterday. Welcome to ISTV News and now the news in detail. The damage reports of the earthquake measuring 7.2 on the Richter scale that hit Manipur yesterday around 7.25 pm have been pouring in continuously. In one of the worst damage reports that have come since yesterday, the building of the Amakcham Primary School at Kekman Amakcham Thawbal has caved in completely due to the quake. House of Muhammad Zamir Khan near the school also got damaged as the building fell upon it. However, no casualty has been reported. On the other hand, the Yairipok market which got damaged in the previous earthquake of January 4 also got damaged partially in last night's quake. The two Ima market buildings which got damaged in the January 4 earthquake were not damaged severely this time. However, some new cracks were seen on the buildings. Reportedly, some portion of the building wall has caved in. Around 10 people were injured and hospitalized due to the quake, it is reported. In another report received by the ISTV News, some people were injured when their houses at Nungba in Tamenglong district caved in due to the quake. It is not yet known as to how many people have been injured. On the other hand, many resented the fact that even though Manipur has been declared an earthquake zone, the authority concerned has not taken up concerted steps in this regard. The damage and the number of casualties due to the two earthquakes that have hit Manipur so far since January would have been far greater if they had occurred during the daytime. So far, the authority concerned has not taken up any step to inform the school authorities with regard to safety measures to be taken up during an earthquake. Drawing the attention of the government, many appeal to take up safety measures and awareness programs to educate people on what steps should be taken up during an earthquake. As observed widely in the country, Manipur Fire Service Imphal Headquarter also observed Fire Service Day at the office complex today. Moreover, a week-long observation will be held till April 20. As part of the observance, as a mark of honour, floral tributes were offered to the departed souls who sacrificed their lives while rendering duties led by Director of Manipur Fire Service K.H. Chandramani at the Martyrs Pillars. Moreover, prizes were distributed to the winners of the essay competition conducted on March 13 last. Addressing the gathering, Director Chandramani said, the percentage of lives and properties saved from fire has increased in Manipur gradually. This has been possible due to full awareness on the part of people about preventing fires and facing fires when they break out. As part of the launching of the Fire Service Week with the theme Prevent Fire Accident, Promote National Development, the firemen of Manipur Fire Service demonstrated the methods and techniques of preventing and protecting from fire. One army man of the 21 paramilitary special force was killed during a clash between troops of the paramilitary force and the Zeliangrong United Front at Lenglong under the Nungba subdivision on April 11 last. Following the incident, the force moved into the area for the second time on April 13 in which one of the army officers of the force, Major Amit Deswal, was killed in another clash in the area. The security force has taken up further investigation in the area. The headlines once again, earthquake damage reports still pouring in since yesterday. 
Thanks for joining us and do stay tuned for more updates.